it's been a long time, ladies and gentlemen, but the Open Tabs podcast has returned. We missed you. My main man, Joe Carlos. What's up? Nothing much. How are you, sir? <laughs> that was very Ike Newkirk of you. Are, are you familiar with Ike Newkirk? Uh, no, Mrs. Mia Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> and Vista Vega. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I, I just want somebody to get that. I, I, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it lands. Yeah, it, it, definitely, the, it definitely. For the three of you out there, audience. we know we've been away so long. That people we, have, hey. people, y'all are gone. I have a but, feeling our audience will grow. But uh, I have a feeling they will, too. So <laughs> but we're back. We're back. We're back. I'd like to welcome all of our friends from uh, Japan and um, <laughs> and other places. And uh, we're so happy the election's over. Good oh, my gosh. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> man. Look, I don't even live in Georgia, and I was getting texts daily. <laughs> daily. Your name is somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Your name is on some list. I'm on the survival <laughs> scrolls. <laughs> you, you are. I was writing. They were sending me things like you we we find we see that you didn't vote. I wrote back, you a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you a lie. Hey, so when we left you guys, we were we were going to to do a movie. And we're gonna come back to that movie for sure because uh we both watched it, we both were are excited about it. Uh, draft day. It's almost the end of the NFL season. <laughs> it's almost but, time for draft day. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, we both have managed to sneak into the uh, La Liga playoffs. We were very excited about that. Oh, I, yeah. No, I snuck in. You didn't sneak in. I, no, I snuck snu- in. Bro, I snuck. I'm the sixth seed. That means I'm Mr. Irrelevant sneak in. You know, well, and, 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 and Bryce was already looking at who wouldn't be in the playoffs. But the players wouldn't be in the playoffs if you weren't there, which is an interesting way to think about things, which is obviously he's thinking deeply on this one. Oh, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't even think of it like, like, oh, if Kelsey's not in the playoffs, that's a lot for us. That means yeah. something. If Josh yeah. Allen is not in the playoffs, that is – that means a lot. That means A.J. A lot. Brown. Yeah, A.J. Brown. Yeah, yeah, your team is prolific. I I, yeah. I, I, I see a four-trigger figure well, wire transfer coming your way soon. I, I, do. I, I benefited from a little uh, a little good luck. Look, what? That, luck? What, this is fantasy know, football. man. Look, if Kyler Murray – and the uh, uh, Ramondre Stevenson. It is. It was a lot. It was. It was a lot. It was a lot. But you know, I mean, karma is. Hey, look. Hey, what did, what did Quentin <laughs> say in, in Best Man? Karma don't come back like that, baby. Yes, it does for you. <laughs> Here we go. Here, here, here. That's all I say. That's all I say. That's all I say. Karma, this is your man. Five hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> One in thirteen, baby. All right. At any rate, <laughs> yeah, that is that is that's that, all right. That, that's, that's for real. My last shot. That's my last shot at him, man. Because you know, sure, sure thing. He's sure. a classy guy. I, hey, brother, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even. <laughs> been it. I'm not in it. Paul, oh, that's between y'all. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, who, what's the guy's name? He's uh, he's the bartender in that one scene in uh, Pulp Fiction. He's in a lot of Tarantino movies. Oh, I, he, he called he's also. Yeah, yeah. he's he's also in a couple of Spike movies too. Yeah, a Spike movies too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he uh, and he was and he was in uh, the firm. Uh, ah. <laughs> he was in the he was uh, he was one of the FBI agents in the firm. Ah. You know, right, you so know, working there was a could be a health hazard. You know, <laughs> oh, he's that guy. Yeah, he's that guy. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. 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 All right, guys. So, uh, you know, before we jump with Ed into Harris it, man. in that scene with Ed Harris. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, good old. Ed. Ed Harris, man. Shout out to Ed Harris, man. He's shout awesome. out to him. Shout out to him, man. He's First time I saw him was uh, Lilies of the Field. Ooh, okay. My mother. Cindy Poitier. It, uh, no, not Lilies of the Field. I'm sorry. Places okay. in the Heart. Places, I'm so, oh, places in the Heart. So, I'm so okay. sorry. It wasn't Lilies of the Field. Places, places in the Heart. In the heart. Nah. Uh, well, I think yes. I'm saying that right. I could be absolutely wrong. No, I think it's Places right. in the Heart with Sally Field, uh, uh, Danny Glover, Ed Harris no, you're right. is in there. It, it's, you're right. It's, 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 uh, it's a pretty... That movie's that's a lot. <laughs> that movie's a lot, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime yeah. you get depression era, you get the clan, uh, you get uh <laughs> lynchings, you you've got a lot going on, especially when you're 11, uh watching it on a rented VCR like I did. Yeah. So John, good old uh, John Malkovich in there as well. Oh yeah, yeah. John Malkovich. Oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We got our first VCR Christmas 86. It was it was a big, big Big deal, Christmas oh, '86. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was gonna say our first. It was our first VCR. We had other VCRs, but it was that was the first one. Fine times in the in the Carlos house. Oh, did never learn how to use it. Never learned how to record, hmm. except for the video for um, "Good Thing" by the great Finding Cannibals. Anything VH1, the sound was better. Remember, remember when BET? Remember you'd watch BET 
and it would be like hazy. Yeah, and mono. Like it, it was not yeah, even it stereo. Yeah, it wasn't in stereo. <laughs> yeah. And the whole point was like Thanks, they Bob had Johnson. nine video channels. I mean, not nine video shows. Yeah. And it was it was never in stereo. It was something okay, really, Yeah, <laughs> not it wasn't until the Viacom deal that they like stepped that up. Well, I mean, they got better, but yeah. they really stepped it up later in the Viacom deal, which yeah. I feel I think still took the soul of it out. Sure. When, when we lost video, when we lost uh, video soul, excuse me, and we lost, of course, Midnight Love. Um, personally, that was my favorite show, Midnight Love. But um, but anyway, I, I digress. I'm sorry, Calvin. You're I was partial. I was partial. I was partial to Sherry. So you know, oh, video soul. What was the other? Um, what was the other one? Sherry Card. What was the other one? Um, Rachel Stribling. No. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 Monica Stribling or something like that. Uh, yeah, she, yeah. she uh, I met her at a uh, Capital Jazz Festival. Uh, she was she was shilling for the country of Curacao. Ah. And uh, some beautiful people in Curacao, man. She, she was at a tent and talking. You need to come to Curacao. I was like, Yes, ma'am. We will go to Curacao. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. How much is it? I don't. It doesn't matter. We're, we're, you are Sherry Stribling. You're telling us we need to go to Curacao. Then we're going to Curacao. Yeah. And that that day, I also saw Patti LaBelle. She kicked off her shoes, laid on the ground, was singing "Somebody Loves You, Baby." Yes, it's it's. I yeah. can I can't. When she it. says it's me, I, I feel that every time in my in my bones. You know what's crazy about that? The album "The Burning" was mm-hmm. like five years, five or six years after New Attitude. I mean, oh, yeah. like she she came back with a vengeance on the burning oh, yeah. nobody really talks about the burning by the way feels like another one my dad was really into this album and i, I could tell that you're it was played in your home as well yes oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. well you know actually c miles didn't like patty okay, c miles didn't like patty a lot he didn't like patty was it your he mother like he didn't like uh uh tina turner but my mom did and so okay, this well, is but... actually patricia's influence okay well god bless uh yeah. i was gonna say this so my wife does not like Anita Baker or Sade. I don't know how we are. Don't, don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Does not like Anita Baker or Sade. Um, I was raised on Anita Baker or Sade. Okay. Um, As was I. Today, Sage got in the car, picked her up from dance. She said, I want to hear 365, 365 days. Now, this has been an emotional day, and I'm going to get to that. This has been an emotional day. Yes. When my child, Says to me, Daddy, I want to. I said, same old Anita Baker. He said, Yeah, yeah, that one. I love Sage. Now, I love her too. So, Daddy played. Now, the, the space between the dance studio and our house is approximately 0.4 miles. But no, you I was, that whole song. I, I did. We rode around the neighborhood. <laughs> Flashbacks to the times we shared. So, it made us laugh. So, when so I went to go sense. pledge, when I went to go pledge Alpha Road Kudos. That was the Alfred chapter of Kudos in the fall of 1989. Okay. In uh, sunny South Dallas, Texas. Um, the, the Furious 25. Um, <laughs> when, yes. I, when I pledged, when I was going to my uh, pledge day, my father drove me down there, down there in South Dallas. Right? My father drove me down, down to South Dallas and he's playing this song, this tape, that tape, Rapture. And same old love comes on. And this is how I know my father was a hazer. Because he is so excited that I'm going to this house. He just dropped me off it. <laughs> no one checked to see if adults were there. So members of the Carter football team, my big brothers, uh-huh. greeted me at the door. Uh-huh. And pushed me in. I was 15 years old. <laughs> Your dad's probably laughing in the car. <laughs> he was. But he was playing, he was playing same old love and stopping in the middle of West Ledbetter, which is a street you don't want to stop on to that ever. Okay, it was the middle of the day, but still stop it. He was so excited. I was gonna go get hazed. <laughs> that's good. That's 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 hey. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through in the words of Madonna. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I thank you for this, uh, if I may. Yeah, absolutely. Go for uh, it. Today we we got we heard the news that uh, one of our Morehouse brothers, the first student that I met and recruited who came to Morehouse, um, our dear brother Turner Cooper, uh, that he transitioned, and I have I'm I'm uh, I, I'm heartbroken over yeah. that. Um, 
I was informed that he had he was in the hospital and had taken a spill last week. I was informed that um, I, I, I was informed that last week. Been praying ever since, of course. But this is a person who was pure love and light. Would just check in on you for no good reason. Didn't want anything in return. Uh, loved with his entire heart and nerve and sinew. Mm -hmm. He is the embodiment of everything that we say when we say Morehouse College creates these certain types of, of men and brothers and things of that nature. Uh, he is literally the embodiment of that. And it is with great sorrow. Uh, it is with great sorrow, obviously, that we mourn his transition and pray, of course, for his family and all those who loved him. But he, he, um, I had a picture of him on my wall in my office at Morehouse, uh, a picture of us, of he, me, him, me and him together at homecoming uh, 2018. Um, he had just finished, got his master's of education from the Harvard's uh, Graduate School of Education. Um, and, and to say that, that in and of itself, yeah. Uh, when I met him, we weren't talking about no Harvard University. We were just trying to get that boy into Morehouse College. Right. And um, although he was an outstanding student, we were just trying to get into Morehouse College and just to have seen him grow and be confident in um, the person he was becoming yeah. uh, was was very refreshing and a beautiful thing. And then today, to see all the lives he touched yeah. Yeah. that yeah. were our contemporaries mm -hmm. and... And above and beyond, he went. He dipped down to the '80s. Everywhere he went, mm -hmm. he made an impact. Yeah. Whether it was Philadelphia or Chicago or Dallas or Atlanta, yeah. uh, and he had just moved to Oklahoma. Everywhere yeah. he went, he, he made an impact. And, um, you know, Michael has a song on Black and White called "Gone Too Soon." Yeah. And and uh, that's the one I haven't listened to today. <laughs> you know, yeah. because yeah. Um, which I think is about Ryan White, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But yeah. but but um, you know, <laughs> like yeah. Ice Cube said, I you know I punched the clock a little too early on on my man TC. Yeah. And uh, yeah. um, and so I I just I you know I yeah. I, I it, it is a tremendous loss, but yeah. brother, we love you, and of course, in a way that only you can do, you've brought so many people together today. <laughs> Yeah. And um, in a way that only you could. And uh, so I just want to say I'm grateful and I love you and and uh, and we'll we'll carry it on from here. We'll carry it on from here. So I just want to say that. Thank you, Calvin, for hey, affording me, no, affording me the uh, the opportunity to say that. And uh, so much has happened <laughs> since we yeah. last did the show. Yeah. Since we last did the show, we got a, a reelected a Morehouse man to the glorious 100. Uh, <laughs> Thank God. Thank, thank oh, God, Georgia. Thank God. Um, the Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, we, we won, got, won the we, Southeastern Championship. It's it's been Southeastern it's been a while since we won the Southeastern Conference Championship. You know, I, I <laughs> it was twenty seventeen. I think it was yes, the last sir. time. Uh, yes, I, 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 if I'm not mistaken, no, you are you are absolutely correct. Yeah, so it was twenty seven December twenty seventeen. So last time uh, Georgia won the, the Southeastern Conference Championship. So that that happened. Yeah, uh, we yeah. thank God have a new quarterback. Uh, for our beloved Atlanta Falcons. Uh, it's Ritter time, baby. Is it, hey, it's Ritter time. <laughs> I'm, I'm not buying a four jersey yet, but I'll buy a four t-shirt. I will buy a four t-shirt. That's fair. But I'm not, I'm not buying a four jersey yet. Let's see what the rookie has. That's what he's ready. He's, he's throwing balls right now. He's throwing I'm balls excited. right now. I'm excited. Or he's doing security service. He's, I'm, he seems I'm like excited. that kind of guy. You know who else is excited? It's Drake London. Of course he is. Because <laughs> they got, I'm sure they have chemistry. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. They're both a little light for my taste, but you know what are you what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, well, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I, know, and I, I know Cameron uh, Ritter's married, but I'm sure Drake is enjoying his time in Atlanta. Oh yeah, in a, yes. Atlanta, Atlanta, <laughs> yeah, Atlanta. Joyce. I was doing my Joyce Latell <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> ah, Joyce, the great Joyce Latell. Shout the out great. to my cousin Mitch, man. Like that. Hey, Shout out to Mitch. Nobody loves Joyce Latell in the Quiet Storm more than you. <laughs> And Mitch White, and then my little brother Jordan. <laughs> he okay. just loves he just loves hearing her say, 
Atlanta. <laughs> He'll call me so like when he was here and made him recording his show. It's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta listen to choice of tell on the way on the way. Here. Hey, hey, that's great. Was, that like, is great. Okay. That is like, great. Just, just okay, okay. I, I hope you're able to meet her. But it was a pandemic, so anyway, this is this is a long head to get to the. This is a long, it's all good. This is a long intro. It's all good. We, it, it's been a while, guys. This is what Open Task Podcast is about, man. Like, and, you know, I mean, and me and Joe have been talking. It's not like we haven't been talking and, and, and you know, chopping it up. We just haven't had, you know, our, our, our calendars have not coincided for us to to have this particular discussion uh, in a while. But we here. We here now. We here. We here now. So uh, tonight, what, the genesis of this, actually, I was listening to a, a, a different podcast on a different network, and uh, they were having a discussion about television shows and, and and their favorite television shows and uh a show came up and uh the other hosts were apoplectic about the fact that uh one of the hosts didn't have this show on their list and i was like you know i need to talk to joe and i need to get joe's unfiltered pure thoughts on this because I'm so uh, I, and you've held this information in so this, I'm I, so, it's hard for me to do this from joe I'm now, so, by the way guys i'm so uh <laughs> I, I i've been waiting with bated breath so i've asked really joe is. I asked yeah. Joe to, to compile his five favorite television shows of all time. Yeah. And to also uh, to, to compile a list of show, newer shows mm-hmm. uh, that are on the cusp, as, as it were, or, you know, h- however you want to put it. And then uh, I got kind of enthusiastic, Joe. I made a bunch of other lists because that's how I do. And then and, and in the pre-show, we were talking about maybe adding one other category, which we are going to add. Uh, so, okay. but I want to start with the five. I want to start with the five. Okay. The reason I want to start with the five is because, like, I want I want to go ahead and crack this egg open, and and, and start getting this egg cooking. Uh, okay. I, I I I have to I I feel one thousand percent certain that this show is on your list number one, and uh, yeah. I'm so I'm so I'm so intrigued. Well, so, I mean, I you know one of them. I mean, you know you know a lot of them actually. I mean, come on. It's just like, I, I feel pretty good about knowing which, but but you 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 do surprise me. Quite okay. often, so right. uh, let's let's alternate. Let us okay. alternate, and I'll start with my number. Please five. start. You, please start. My number, number five. My yeah, number, five number five is a different world. Okay. So I'm starting it off. We we've covered a different world on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was, and I almost didn't make the list. Uh, when I get to my honorable mentions, you know, you'll you'll have a better understanding. But I couldn't leave it off. Transformative, uh, memorable holds up um even the weakest seasons of it which are the first and last seasons i want to say something about that in just a moment but they they they're still eminently watchable uh i i I have a newfound uh love for maggie all of a sudden so uh you know i I, i've been wanting i've been thinking about like kind of uh fan love for maggie (laughs) If, if maggie had made it to like sophomore year if she had been one of the main cast members throughout how it could have been and would have been, you know what I mean? But uh, at any I rate, that, I wish that could have happened actually. I, I, as do I. She might not have an Oscar, an Oscar if that were the case. She might not have had an Oscar. Yeah. So, you know, more power to Marissa Tomei. But, uh, you know, uh, A Different World is my number five. What's your number five, brother? All right. Uh, can I say something real quickly? On yeah, say world? it, say it, say it. Um, so, the other day, there's a there's there's two main a different world Instagram pages, mm-hmm. and like main main fan pages. Mm-hmm. And the other day, somebody was like, "Let's talk about Ron Johnson and why I don't like Ron Johnson." Right? Oh Lord. And I I'm like, okay, okay. And they were just saying how he was a womanizer and how he cheated on Kim Reese and with Freddie and all that. And I said, "Let's talk about the bad writing. Let's talk about the writers." <laughs> that wasn't on Ron. I agree. The lack of objectivity from these people. I said, oh, look, oh, I said, oh, we don't want to talk about how bad the sixth season was. They Correct. went crazy off on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I was like, I was like, well, I'm just being objective. I mean, I don't know. I said, you know, I'm being honest in my critique. Yeah. But it, but but I can love this and I know this show better than everybody who was commenting. Oh yeah. And I can love this and yet be honest about how weak one and six were. Yeah. You it's know, like James Baldwin. You reserve the right to, to <laughs> yes, criticize. It's it's exactly the same. Yeah. So I just want to say that real quick. But um sure. but, but I I I um yeah, I, I thought I was gonna have to like find I was like, I'm just gonna let them 
let them comment and feel good about themselves. <laughs> but <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. It's yeah. not Ron. So I was like, well, it's not the characters. So I said, let's go with the writers. You're, you're yeah. mad at the characters. Let's get mad at the writers yeah. who decided that this fantastical thing. And then I said, if you're on a show, if you're in college for that long, I said, I said, let's stop and think about it. Not a two and no. Everybody dated everybody. Oh, yeah. Melrose Place, they all dated everybody. Like, it, it, it was not uncommon for these people to start dating everybody. Like, it wasn't uncommon. I said, and that was a, a, a familiar trope uh, of shows of this time period. Yeah. Nobody said anything to that. I yeah, probably friends. Know what they probably know what friends. They probably know what trope was. This is before, but if you think about it, the different worlds before friends. But but yeah. I, but but friends follow that same format. Right? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Though. You can't stay yeah. on the air that long and then not. There's yeah. not going to be some overlap. Like, you don't explore on. these relationships. Yeah, I mean, we we had that from the jump in 90210. Yeah, that was the the, the entire premise of the beginning was Steve had been dating Kelly, and then. And then they had broken up, and then they had broken up after ninth grade. And they're in, we're in tenth grade now, and they and the whole thing with Steve is always when every summer and whenever he broke up with a girl, he'd come back to Kelly, right? Right. Mm -hmm. That happened for years on the show, even mm -hmm. though Kelly dated Brandon. And oh no, excuse me, back that up. Kelly dated Dylan. Dylan. They, 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 <laughs> well, after she dated Dylan, after Brenda did, but Kelly did anyway. You know what I'm saying? She dated yeah. Brandon, D D Dylan. You know, uh, the, the painter guy who was on, yeah, uh, on yeah, Coke, yeah, yeah. Uh, who, uh, who was... Uh, Melrose Place guy. Great show. Yeah. No, no, no. Not, no, no, no. He was a painter. He was on Coke. He was in... Um, oh, that guy. The artist guy. Yeah. Yeah, the artist no, guy. Noby and Lewis or whatever. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. He, was, he, was, <laughs> he went to California University, too, or, or, or Columbus University yeah. in, high, in higher learning. He was yeah. uh, Omar Epps roommate. Um, no, we Remy? cool. We cool. No, not Remy. That was, Andrew. That was Andrew Goldman's roommate. He was he was Omar Epps' roommate. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I need to see. It's, it's been a while since I've seen Higher Learning. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. What is high? Um, <laughs> what is anyway, high? Yo. <laughs> I don't. I, I so I'm gonna just rank it now because I didn't really put it at five, four, two, two, one. And I'm so okay. Sorry. Okay. Let's um, go. gosh, this is tough. I, it's um, it's a different world for me. Okay. I'm awesome. at five because we're not doing the the um, I, I, the honorable mentions will come later. But it's at five. A different world okay. is at five for me. Groundbreaking. Um, in the second season, it became about a black college. Yeah. Um, <laughs> message. I have yes, message. Um, <laughs> I I I I love this show. I lived this show. Mm -hmm. I went to a black college. I applied to black colleges because of this show, mm -hmm. um, and primarily, mm -hmm. and um, and sought the experiences that I saw in the show. I thought the acting. At times was outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, the guest, the guest shots that came through, it was a big deal. You know, the other, the other great legacy of the show. We don't, I don't think we realize it. This was a top five show. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the majority of the time, it was a yes. powerful, yes, a powerful show. It held up the rank, the ratings from the Cosby Show, and it exceeded did. them sometimes. Yeah, a great, absolutely. and and, a, and became a wonderful lead-in for Cheers. Okay, <laughs> became a wonderful lead-in for Cheers, and I started watching Cheers again, like from the very beginning. By the way, uh, just recently on Peacock. But uh, also, I think what I really love about a different world was the how cool it was to be educated in black, mm -hmm. and how that was seen on television, and how that was shared on television, which which was very important for the show's creator. Um, who shall remain nameless, which is very important for the show's creator uh -huh. to talk about those things. And, and uh, it gave us a, a wonderful place to do that and, and in Hillman. So uh, number five for me all time is a different world. I've watched it back and forth, forth and back, one through six, countless times. You can watch it on HBO Max right after you listen to this podcast, the entire Excellent. thing. Excellent. I, I, yeah, couldn't say it better. My number four is in the background behind me, BoJack yes, Horseman. That is your that so you that is that the show. newest entry to my top five, BoJack Horseman. Uh, you can you can catch it on Netflix. Okay, uh, it is a silly anthropomorphic cartoon okay. uh, that had has such emotional depth that it will shock you the first time you watch it all the way through, uh, just in terms of how well they handle some very sticky and difficult subjects ranging from uh, cancel culture to Me Too 
to depression and suicide, alcoholism, uh, hardcore drug use, you name it. Uh, the nuanced way that it handles it, the, 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 and then how seamlessly it can break into some silliness. Uh, and, and, and weave all these different things, relationships between people, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, I, I highly encourage anyone to just give it, give it one season, just watch the first season. Uh, and, and if you don't want to follow along after the first season, then that's cool. But uh, this show is, uh, you know, again, the, the emotional depths. And, and so I find myself, especially, uh, I am prone to, uh, to, to uh, sadness, to depression. And uh, I, I find myself when, I, when I'm in those moments, kind of going back to this show and mm -hmm. watching it in its entirety. Uh, I usually can binge it in about four to five days. Uh, just because it just, I mean, they're 30 minute episodes and it, it just, it flows, man. Uh, but uh, the work of Will Arnett, uh, 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 Allison Brie, um, what is my lady's name from uh, Kids in the Hall? Uh, man, I'm blanking on her name, uh, but uh, Princess Carolyn and Mr. Peanut Butter, Paul F. Tompkins, like the voice work is incredible. Uh, oh, and my man Aaron Paul from uh, from another show that that eventually I'll mention. Uh, spoiler alert! Uh, but shocker, shocker there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, uh, just just a, a fantastic show, and I can't recommend it enough for those that have not ever you know given it an opportunity on Netflix. I know mm -hmm. there's a, a lot of material on Netflix, yeah. and uh, you know it can blend into. Uh, and and I, I plan to talk about some of the other things that you know didn't go over as well or have it don't hold up as well, but. From start to finish and it has one of the best endings of a television show ever uh so yeah bojack horseman uh my number four all right um my number four is uh, a show that started uh i believe in the late 80s uh, or early night I, I i do not know i i gotta check it it's called seinfeld and uh <laughs> the seinfeld chronicles um but it's called seinfeld that is my number four it is Seinfeld, of course, created by Jerry Seinfeld, mm -hmm. who at the time was a stand-up comedian that we knew from the Rodney Dangerfield stuff, and he had HBO specials. And then a guy I didn't know, and I didn't know till much later, named Larry David. Mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, my first episode I saw, I was a senior in high school. This is literally 30 years ago, like right now, in December of 92. My first, it was the Pez episode ah, yes, of the, the Pez Pez dispenser <laughs> episode. I was home. We had an early basketball game and I came home on a Thursday night and I I can't even get through this. Oh gosh. And I watched this fool with this Pez dispenser. This episode had me on the floor crying, laughing. And I'm thinking like, where have I been? How have I not seen this? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, well, I thought it was Thursday. I don't know if it was on Thursday in 92. It initially was, started on like Tuesdays and then it yeah, got I, whatever Thursday. night it was. I don't know if it was on a Thursday in 92, but yeah, but um, so it was so I that was the first one I watched. I went away to Howard. I we didn't watch that film, we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I came home though after I was kicked out of Howard, mm -hmm. and my brother and I it was on in, in um syndication 11 to 12 every night. And my brother and I would watch it, man. I mean, we would watch mm -hmm. it. And basically, that's how we got through seasons. Because we'd two a time every night, like Monday through Friday, right? Mm -hmm. So we get through full seasons that way. And and then and then we then we started watching it on Thursdays, uh, must-see TV. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started watching when it was live at that point. So, but uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous acting, uh, great writing, some of the most iconic TV moments ever and characters ever. Um, it, it's this little time. I bought the Lego set. I've got to finish it for Jerry's apartment. Um, <laughs> nice. That I'm, I'm making right now with my daughter. Uh, nice. But, but uh, I mean, what's what can't you say about Seinfeld? Everybody, not everybody, several great shows after it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. were heavily influenced by the style and the the repetition and the pitter patter that they and their 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 um their rhythm so uh i'm a huge fan of seinfeld and it is number four for awesome 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 shout out to jerome seinfeld thank you shout out to jerome <laughs> queen's college <baby. laughs> my queen's number three it's, it's where it starts to get rough man okay 
My number three is The Wire. Okay. I figured uh, that. Now, if, if this list were, was the best made show, it'd be number one, clearly. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, what can you say uh, from start to finish? The Wire, uh, it, it, it is the pinnacle of uh, television writing for uh, that doesn't pander to the audience that, that just simply, ah, <laughs> simply, uh, simply just puts it out there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the wire, the wire, what I love about the wire is you can rewatch it a million times and you can still pick up on something new. Yeah. Uh, especially in the, in the context of uh, the uh, We Own the City, the, the miniseries, or oh, man. Like, you know, going back and watching The Corner or any anything else that David Simon has done. Like you can go back and, and, and then like you see something new or you might focus on somebody different that you didn't focus on. Like, look, last time I watched it, I focused on Poking Mahone. Uh, and, and just like you know, in, oh, in the first season, um, Poke, Poke and Mahone, the oh, okay. uh, the two the two drunks that mm -hmm. that uh, you know <laughs> that were brought in the, the humps. That fool tried to fall down those stairs. That fool tried to throw himself down those stairs, man. <laughs> like you know, I, it just it 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 pays off every Which time. It's a thing. It's a thing though on HBO shows. I don't I don't know if you of course they Janice wanted to do that with Livia. Oh yeah. And, yeah, and they had um, the sign in the background yeah. with, with Livia. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then um, uh, Paz Huerta, um, she she almost, she tried to do that uh, in, sec in the second season of Boardwalk, huh. uh, Lucy Danziger, uh, huh. when she was pregnant with, um, when she was pregnant with uh, oh, Nelson Van Alden's. Uh, oh, Van Alden, okay. okay. Yeah, with, with, with his baby. Okay. Uh, she was going to throw herself down the stairs to, to, for to end that yeah to end that mm -hmm. um then like the wind blew and she heard some music and she stopped but but uh sorry so so there's always like a good reason not to do that to yourself actually. yeah absolutely in, in the vein of uh dj twitch i want to say like you know um yeah. and I, I put a, a message out on uh instagram today and yeah. on facebook you know i mean yeah. uh please know you're not alone you are loved somebody somebody out there loves you absolutely um, and and you know we'll talk to you and uh get you through but uh yeah man uh the wire just it, you know it, it 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 is anytime there's a a marathon it runs through all the group meets like every group me i'm in somebody will say oh the wire's on and <laughs> boom like i'm watching uh at least a few episodes you know what i mean if not if it's not time for my binge uh and, and it's it's one of those shows that i i, I have to binge i have to watch it you know you absolutely two to make sure I'm, I'm up on it. What's your number three, man? Whew. This is getting, three is when it gets tough, right? So, yep. so we've gone through, so far I've mentioned A Different World and Seinfeld. Uh-huh. And so three is, three is tough to, it's tough to, uh, it's tough to state what three, what three will be, but uh, I'm going to announce it in a way See, I'm just trying to throw you off with misdirection right now, you know? Okay. That's so right. I'm, I'm going to announce it though, you know, three. So as I think about this thing that you've, that you've just mentioned to me, as I, as I, as I go over this uh -huh. and think about this and uh -huh. I think about, I, you know, when you look at your favorites of anything, right? Mm -hmm. You look at your mm -hmm. absolute favorites of anything. Hello, Julie Louis Dreyfus. Yes. <laughs> I just said four with Seinfeld and here we are, Julie, Julian. Okay. It's, it's Veep for me. Okay. Um, okay. And, and, and this show came came to me from when I was traveling uh, for work, working at Morehouse College, and um, I'd be in these hotels uh, in the Hilton brand, and they always had HBO. And inevitably, it was a this was a fall show, mm -hmm. so I'm recruiting students in the fall. Mm -hmm. So inevitably, this would be on, and I I picked it up one day, and I was just like, oh gosh, this is amazing, mm -hmm. and. Then and it was probably like mid season, and this was back when the app was called HBO Go. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. And I would go back, and I went back, and I saw everything, and I just fell for the characters. Selena Meyer, just I mean, in so many ways, just absolutely hilarious and unhinged, and uh -huh. so worried about everything, and, and just and, and didn't believe in herself that she does, and she's arrogant, and she's aloof, and she's and she's an amazing politician, and all these things, and these lovable but hateful characters uh also that are in you know in the that work for her 
uh, you know, from Dan Egan, who's, who's up there on the tip of the boat right here, to, uh, to look, Tony Hale, you know, there is Dwight Schrute. He does exist in our world. Mm-hmm. Dwight Schrute does exist as, as the lovable lackey uh, of, and I think the hero, actually, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the overall hero of The Office. Uh, as I agree. Ray, Ray, Ray Wilson's um, Dwight True. Yes. But, but um, Tony Hale, his, his portrayal of Gary in Veep is like, it's like Dwight Schrute, like on true steroids. I mean, the way he loves and cares for Selena Meyer, it's, it's, it makes no sense. Anyway, mm-hmm. you've got to see it. Amy Bruckheimer, I mean, you know, these, these roles, they're just amazing. And then my main man, uh, Dunn over here, playing the chief of staff, uh, he's got a great nickname. I can't say, I'm not going to say on the air because, okay. you know, just in case okay. my, my parents listen. But um, <laughs> it's it's amazing. And and it's, I think it's six, seven seasons. But I think it's six yeah. seasons, man. And it goes, it tells an amazing story of a vice president. You don't really know what party she's in, but you kind of figure it out eventually. Um, and she becomes a vice president. I'm not, I mean, look, if you don't know what VP is, I'm sorry you don't, but you can still watch it. Yeah. Uh, and then she eventually becomes president. And then then she runs. <laughs> Then she, she becomes president and then she runs for president and she loses. And so mm-hmm. you, you you look at the victories, you look at losses, and you, the whole time it's just dynamite writing. Yeah. And and um and then the last season is just pure, unadulterated brilliance. And it, it is a great ride. And I have thought about starting it again, I don't know, five times a week, man. I, I think about it, but I just started a, a, a binge of another show. Okay. Uh, the the extended se- uh, episodes. Ah. I just started a binge on another sh- another show. So okay. I, I so I, I'm not I'm not going to start Veep right now. But okay. but um, I highly recommend it. Of course, it is on HBO Max. Please go check it out. You will not be disappointed, uh, and you will fall in love with these characters. And you know the saddest part of this graphic is it doesn't really have my favorite character on it, Jonah, Jonah Ryan. Ah. Yeah. Um, and so uh, funny you should mention him. Yes, because the other day I was listening to one of my other favorite podcasts on another network, and uh-huh. um, uh, I, I couldn't. I was like, I can't pick up this voice, the guy <laughs> they were interviewing, and it was him. It was Timothy Simons. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, as as the um, 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 as the amazing Jonah Ryan. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You thought you thought you see the end of Jonah Ryan. You hadn't even seen the beginning. That was the start of Jonah Ryan. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I co-sign with you, Joe. I, I, it's on another one of my lists here uh, it, that hopefully we'll, we'll get to. But uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. Uh, it's a great show. Fantastic show. Fantastic absolutely. show. Absolutely. Fantastic show. Great choice. Hey, man, look, this is going ex- almost exactly as, as I intended. I think that we're getting there. I, I'm, we're going to land this plane. I know we're going to land this plane uh, either now or yeah. So at any rate. My number two. You done, you're done with Eve. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I am. Yes, sir. No, okay. Please, all right. Ahead. My number two. Uh, AMC, one of the, 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 the shows that helped to make AMC uh, what it is. Thanks for saying one of. I don't want you to lose your mind here. He going, yes. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Probably the greatest villain in television history. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to see the descent of a uh, of, of somewhat decent, although, I mean, it's questionable as, as to whether he was decent or not, but the descent of a, of a man from, you know, uh, palatable to just deplorable, uh, Breaking Bad, Walter White. Uh, this, this show, again, uh, so well-written, so much continuity to the extent that, you know, even the, 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 the sequel slash prequel uh, television show, you know, it, it, it's it's perfect. You can string it together, and you won't you won't find a, a plot hole or a gap or anything like that in it. Uh, you know, it, it the way that this show was written with such meticulous care, uh, and 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 again, like not pulling any punches as to like you know the 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 misdeeds and misgivings of, of Walter White mm-hmm. and, and 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 playing him out to be who he was. Uh, it was just a fantastic show. Uh, you know, I often think about how much I hate some of the characters on the show. And I think it's a, a, a tribute to how well acted they were. Yeah, of course. Uh, particularly Marie and Skylar. Uh, you know, and I, I learned to love Skylar, actually. 
Uh, but uh, Marie, to this day, you know, I, I still can't stand. Uh, and to the extent that when she made an appearance on uh, uh, Better Call Saul, uh, spoiler for anybody who hadn't seen it, but, you know, that's that's kind of your bad. Uh, <laughs> she she still triggered me. Uh, you know, that's Breaking Bad. Uh, I've gotten into many arguments with my guy, Jeff Jones, about this show because uh, this is number one. And, you know, I, I, I can see that. Anybody that puts Breaking Bad number one, I, I can't argue with you. It's not my number one, but it can be your number one uh, mm -hmm. easily. Uh, just, just from the quality of it. Uh, Vince Gilligan, uh, just, I mean, amazing. Amazing writing. Amazing directing. Uh, the 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 uh, penultimate episode, Ozymandias. Or no, it's not. Ozymandias isn't actually not penultimate because it's like uh, there's another episode in between before the last, but uh, before Felina. But uh, Granite State, I think, is between the two. But anyway, uh, Ozymandias is, is probably the finest hour of television I've ever mm. seen. Mm. Uh, and, and that's saying a lot because I watch a lot of TV. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Breaking Bad is my number two. What's your number two, man? It's yeah. Is this uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. We'll 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 talk. I, I, yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> Dunder, yeah, Dunder Mifflin. The people, 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 people. Dunder Mifflin. Anyway, uh, it's the office. Yeah. What's yeah. that? What 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 can't you say? The jokes amazing. The writing outstanding. The acting on par. Uh, the inconsistencies hilarious. Uh, the <laughs> the mysterious things that happen always get a great laugh from me. Yeah. Um, I, I'm in a binge right now. Season two extended extended episodes on Peacock. Watch yeah. it on Watch Peacock. It. Watch it. it. Spend the nine dollars. Get your get your get your full Peacock. You're grown. Yeah. You have yeah. a job. Yeah. Uh, Hold off on that Popeyes chicken sandwich and get the office. Get get the office, which all Peacock also. It's, it's a lot more on there too. Yeah, yeah, I'm Yellowstone. Saying, and, yeah, it's all all kind of stuff, all kind of yeah. stuff on Peacock, right? Yeah. Uh, cheers, if you're into that. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but but um, and currently the Big Lebowski is playing right, right now. Oh. But but yeah, they're streaming there now. But uh, of course, everybody looks at Corel, Corel A. You know, workhorse, tour de force, Corel, hilarious, never breaks character, just amazing. People um, say I'm the best. I'm the boss. best boss. <laughs> I missed that so much. I missed that on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Because when you would when you would scroll on Netflix, that was what it, that's what would come yeah. up. Yeah. People say I'm the best man. Yeah. Right. Again, it's on Peacock. Okay. It's it's rightfully in its home. Yes, that's true. With that's an NBC, true. you know, NBC did the right thing there. They yes. bought they bought yes. their their property that made them billions of dollars. So it made sense. Yes. Um, favorite characters, uh, they, they keep me well, no, excuse me. The workhorse, of course, is is Michael Scott. The uh, but to me, the hero of the show is Rain Wilson's Dwight Kurt Schrute. Yes, um, who lives by a code, who yes. only wants the best from you. Yes, um, who who loves deeply, yes. and hard, yes. and who is loyal. Uh, completely is the definition of loyal. <laughs> the absolute yes. definition of loyal, uh, and. And he is a re he is a reason to keep watching the show. Least yes. favorite characters, they are right here. This person right here, and that person right there. Jam me. and Pim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jam and Pim um, could do. I'm, I'm good on it. Yeah. I get it. You know, I appreciate it uh, on on a number of levels, but really got old. Yeah, definitely later. Really got old. Yeah, um, all that. So, yeah. having said that, uh, my number two is. The, our friends at Dunder Mifflin Scranton, The Office. Hardworking, Hard alpha working. male, jackhammer, merciless, <laughs> insatiable. All those things. <laughs> All those things. Jackhammer was one of my hey, favorites. Hey, man. Hey, look. Uh, the, office, the Office is a worthy, 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 worthy number two. Uh, I, Joe, I, I, I commend you. I commend Thank you, you, sir. Thank you for the commend. My, Come, my in the tour. Come in the tour. Come in the tour. <laughs> Speaking of which, my number one. <laughs> Shocker. Of course. Shocking, right? The Sopranos. Still number one. Still number one. Still, still the one. It's still the one. Exactly. I I I, I binge Sopranos. I probably have an ongoing binge of the Sopranos, just like I do. perpetually. I do too. I do too. Uh, and I binge other shows within it. You know what I mean? But like mm -hmm. I'll just pop up on season two, like, hello, my old friend. 
and <laughs> watch the, the saga of Rishi April. Hey, look, I said I like some pulp. Some pulp. <laughs> she threw that phone at him with such furious anger. Furious <laughs> anger. It was great. It, hey, look, I mean, what else can you say about the Sopranos? Uh, you know, the, it, between the memes, the memorable lines, the lessons, uh, you know, we, we had we had an ongoing conversation, Joe and I, this very week about one of the scenes uh, when, when Fat Dom Gamiello comes over from New York. <laughs> the bus falls about... You're really up Vito. on this shit. You're really up on this shit, huh, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. It's so many oh. subtleties. Like, just... And if you, just and listen, and listen. And I would say, if you're, a, if you're a Sopranos fan and, and you get and you know that line, you should fall over laughing right now. Yeah. Actually, yeah. if you are yeah. a Sopranos fan. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, hey, man. Look, Ralphie... All right, so so my, my boy, Iman, uh, we, we commiserate over Ralphie on a regular basis. First of all, Ralphie helped to teach us to master our... Uh, our, our uh, our uh, um, gravy and our uh, macaroni, mm. our macaroni and gravy, aka mm-hmm. spaghetti and meat sauce. Yeah. Uh, we use Ralphie's recipe, uh, nice. but you know we we high we high hand each other very often. You know I, I love we kind of have a, a Rick James and Charlie Murphy type relationship. You know we, you know we we kind of go back and forth. And uh, every now and again, one one of us will have to tell the other who does he think he is, Sir Walter Raleigh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, the Sopranos has just everything and then like the ending which was so polarizing so polarizing has now kind of everybody's come 180 on it and realized how fantastic how great that ending was uh you know it's 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 vindication because you know again uh i loved every single episode even the bad episode uh with uh Bokeem Woodbine as Massive Genius. <laughs> Massive Genius. A hit is a hit. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and the the bad in Camelot episode, you know. Oh, those, that was that was that was a rough episode to watch. Those two like, episodes. When is know, that one gonna end? Yeah, it's 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 a slog to get through those two. But yeah. uh two episodes out of out of the, the rest of that that the volume of episodes, man. Come on. Like I I look, I'm ready to to restart another binge of it, man. Uh, what's your number one, Joe? Is it The Sopranos? Or? It is. That's why. That's why. Okay. So okay. That's right. It's okay. Sopranos for all those reasons. And Give me your take. Give me your take on it. In the spring of 1999, I wrote a review of The Sopranos for what once was a, a proud newspaper, The oh. Maroon Tiger. Um, Let's say it the better. Yes. What once was a proud newspaper. We'll say it. What once was a proud newspaper, The Maroon Tiger. Romeo must die, must die. Shout Romeo must die, must die. And I did a Sopranos piece. I don't think any other HBCUs did a piece on the Sopranos uh, that year. I'm fairly certain. Uh, but I uh, did a piece on them then. Uh, Tony's just, he's a planet. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. A, he's a, he's That's a planet. That's a great way to put it. And, and he is, and, and a planet is complicated and it's gaseous. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> send them up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's gaseous. And it's it's beautiful and it's grotesque and yeah. it's it, it's a lot of things. A planet is a lot of things. And it's always moving, um, yeah. and he's all those things and more. Uh, he is uh, a lover. He is a, a doting father. He is a, a boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is exceptionally engaging and um, uh, appealing to you know he can he can make someone pretty much do whatever they want to do whatever he wants them to do mm-hmm. he's a racist uh he's a sexist mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. he's an arch conservative mm-hmm. um but he's a realist at the yeah. same time pragmatist yeah pragmatist <laughs> a pragmatist and 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 he's highly intelligent and he's and the most important thing about him is he's an absolute liar yeah and so um <laughs> i mean i this is what i've come yes. up with yeah. Uh, and and I'm in the middle of a binge now. Uh, this gentleman right here, uh huh, Dominic, is about to shoot him. Yeah. Ah. Uh. You know, he's, he's about to <laughs> try. To him, <laughs> he's about to shoot him, and I just cannot watch that part. Uh, so so, hard. so so, but I'm, it's 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 right there in the top of my queue in uh, yeah. in HBO Max. Yeah. But but um, the rest of the characters they're outstanding. I mean, the guy above me, uh, Sirica, yeah. God God rest his soul. What do you uh, hear? What do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Keep this short and sweet. Gotta write nothing down. Gotta write nothing down. <laughs> write nothing down. 
<laughs> All right, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because Terry Winter wrote for that show, who later did uh, Boardwalk Empire. And I know you're not really up on the boardwalk like that. I know, I know. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. Okay, well, but but they used to say friend like that mm. a lot. Really, mm. the black characters would be like, what's up, friend? And really, it didn't mean like it, it wasn't. <laughs> you were was my not, friend. Yeah, you're not my, my friend. friend, which is yeah. not uncommon, which is not unlike uh Paulie when he said hello my friend I don't know why it's you my friend talking about Chrissy yeah. right yeah but, yeah and then yeah. I mean it, you know who knows what the future holds my friend <laughs> who knows what the future holds my friend uh Imperioli <laughs> he's not in this picture but yeah you know just sort of force he's still doing his thing God bless him oh yeah and and, and of course my main man Steve Van Zandt I mean I mean and that's just the guys I I, yeah. I mean yeah Lorraine Lorraine Bracco yeah Edie Falco. Yeah. As much I know as you love some, hate. I know you love I, I, it's hate, a love Edie. hate, but it's so much love <laughs> because it's a love hate because of how amazing an actress she is. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and how well she did that role. Uh, and you know, I, I just I just love this show. I don't know what I don't, I'm not I don't even know why I escape into this world that is absolutely positively nothing to do with me, that would not <laughs> accept me in any way, shape, or form, that I could bring nothing to the table with or for, but I escape into this show. And and it seems like it makes sense around Christmas time to start start it up again. Yeah. Always. I usually start a, a, a wire binge in January just to start my year off right uh, and all that. But yeah. but I every year I come back like Atlantis, uh, come I'm back. Always <laughs> come back to you. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Hey, let me ask you, Joe. Are yeah. you up on uh, the uh, Hottest Take podcast? Have you heard of that? No, no, no. Okay, so it's on the Ringer Podcast Network. Is uh, uh, like the entire staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, my man Van Lathan. Uh, yeah, please tell me what this thing that they said. Please tell me this thing. No, 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 is that where you're going? No, this is not where I'm going. But I'm going there okay. soon. I'm going okay. there very soon. Okay. Uh, so uh, on the hottest take, they actually uh, uh, Bill Simmons actually is the one that relitigates uh, AJ Soprano as actually or, or Robert Eiler is actually a good actor. He was and a good actor. He was exactly, but you know, a lot of people. Or he just, is a good actor. He was a good actor. A lot of people disliked him because they disliked AJ Soprano. Which but meant for him he was to, good. Exactly for him to be that way, uh, I think people understand now how strong of an actor because you don't get the last few seasons without him being that strong let's talk about this i'm with you completely and i'm with bill simmons on this and i'm not with bill simmons on a lot of things but i'm with him on this (laughs) but i want to say this imagine being in that room at 14 15 years old with jim gandolfini and edie falco these master actors and you having to hold your own, okay, as a as a as a kid, mm-hmm. okay, and you're holding your own. I mean, there are some scenes in season two and in season three that Eiler Eiler just shine. In my opinion, he just shines. Man. Oh yeah, and and he's standing there toe to toe. And even the one where he says, you know, I'm gonna kick your ass. He's gonna kick your ass. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Do it now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of like it was building and building and building, and eventually, yeah. of course, it had to get there. Yeah, but even there were subtle things even earlier than that when he when he was becoming his own guy mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff too. I mean, Eiler, man, if you hate him, it's because he did a good job. Exactly. It's, exactly. It, which is also my beef with the different world. My Johnson, shut your ass up. I mean, <laughs> it's just, the writing was bad. In season <laughs> six, it was stupid. Yeah, the writing was well, not stupid. It just was a little bad. In season yeah. six and preachy, but the worst part wasn't Ron Johnson. No, but but again, it was the writing. But they I was gonna say, they destroyed my man Dwayne, man. Dwayne, they yeah, they, they yeah. took all they stripped him of his cool, yeah, which life will do, yeah, that yeah, it will, it will maybe, maybe take off. I've seen cool. it happen. I, I have to, I have to, yes, <laughs> yes, indeed, yeah, man. All right, so what was the hardest show for you to leave off your list? Well, I have, I have, you know, also, I have, you know, uh. I have a few uh, honorable mentions here. <laughs> I, I have eight uh, honorable mentions. Eight? <laughs> I have eight. Did you say eight? Eight. I said eight. As a man? Like as, as, a, as a human being, you said eight, eight honorable mentions. Okay. Um, so for me, the hardest to leave off my list were Friday Night Lights. Okay. Uh, which I loved. And I love. I'm in the middle of a binge on that right now. Friday Night Lights is playing on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Um, Sex in the City. 
uh-huh. uh, which which is uh, obviously playing on HBO Max. Uh-huh. Um, that's the last that was hardest. Um, Alpha House, okay, uh, which is a two season show. Uh, but you didn't you didn't put a season limit on this. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Alpha Perfectly. House. Which, yeah, which was a uh, and if if you're not familiar with Alpha House on um, on Amazon, it's about these senators who all live in a condo or live in a brownstone in um, in Washington, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant and hilarious. It's 20 episodes. Gary Trudeau, uh, 30 minutes. Man, you could do it in a week. Gary Trudeau. Uh, right? Yeah, Gary Trudeau. You could do it in a week or two. Yep. Uh, oh no, Doonesbury. 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 Yeah. Yes. Um, so it's just a political slant. Yeah. Um, the wife, the husband of Jane Polly. Yeah. Um, but but uh, yeah, those those were probably. Okay. You still haven't said it yet. Okay. Those were the hardest to keep off of my list. Okay. Um, and of my favorite shows of all time. Okay. Um, and wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good gosh. Of my favorite shows of all time. So I looked back and because you asked me, you gave me five, right? So I'm uh-huh. looking back and I'm thinking like, did I watch this whole, if I say it's a show of all time, I had to, I have to stand by in my mind, 80 to 90% of the episodes. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Okay. Now a different world snuck in, in the okay. low eighties. Okay. All right. It okay. snuck in in the low eighties. Okay. Well, I could have dropped a different world and like, Raised Friday Night Lights. I could okay. I could have I could have done that. Sure. But then again, but then again, I couldn't, you know, the later seasons of Friday Night Lights where I had to go to like three different, I had to watch it on it, it was it was one of the first shows that was streaming only. Okay. It wasn't like it, it, it went off of NBC, then it right. was like only streaming. Right. Okay. Right. This is like 2009, 2010, right. bro. Because it didn't um, have any uh it didn't have any uh DVD release. It had one season, right? Yeah, but they they, they made the last episode. They made the last season, but they took it off the air. I mean, and it was, we're talking like they were winning Emmys. Yeah. They just yeah. didn't have the audience. Yeah. It made no sense. It made, that one made no sense. Anyway, anyway. So, um, but um, the, the other, no, well, there's another one I was going to stand by that I did, but I couldn't give 80%. Cosby Show, I couldn't give it 80% yeah. because. The I was kind of flummoxed as to where to put it. Yeah. I, I, the later seasons, I either, I grew up. Or grew out of love with it. Yeah. Because of Pam. Yeah, it's just like she wasn't she wasn't the Maverick yet. No, Raven Simone. Uh, yeah. The and, I, and I love, I love I Maverick love them. I love I love them. I, it, it's all yeah. that, but it just I didn't yes. care. Yeah. But it yeah. was it was a very it was a very black thing to have your cousin come live with you. Yeah. Black you like having your cousins back. Yeah, black <laughs> like your you know, blue blue, blue like what that rent is do. <laughs> okay, so yeah. um but I'm shocked. Yeah, but but uh, and then I I know what you're thinking. I know where you're gonna go because you'll say it. So I'm not even gonna say the name of the show. But but um, I, there was one other show that I was looking. at. I was like, well, Moonlighting. But then I was like, I didn't know why. I was 12. Yeah. I didn't. I I, I liked a season that was outstanding. But there there was stuff that was so erratic that <laughs> you know I'm in a boardwalk binge right now. Okay. It would it would it would make my top 15. Okay. Uh, it would make my top fifteen. No, it would make my top. It would make my top fifteen, like okay. at eleven, eleven. Okay. So I'm I'm done. How about you? Well, let me say first, Joe. So let's, let's, let's dispense with the the as 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 Tony would say, eight hundred pound elephant in the room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know who else? Which is a very small elephant. Gorilla was, would be Michael Scott. He's, he says at the jam all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm still dating Carol. Okay. Let's, <laughs> according to Michael Scott. So Joe, I'm, I'm shocked that you didn't mention two shows. The first is Entourage. Yeah, I know. Okay. The second is the onus for this whole discussion, which is Mad Men. I never finished it. Aha. Okay. Now that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Because I have a category below. I I didn't finish Mad Men. I have a category below. So, all right. Let me me go. I can't. I just want to say that because I didn't finish it, I couldn't consider it. I'm I'm missing like. So, this is the one Chris Ryan on, on that podcast was livid with everybody else about not enjoying uh, Mad Men to the extent. Or it was either Chris Ryan or Sean Fennessy. One of those guys, like, was very upset. Probably Sean Fennessy, knowing him. Uh, yeah. Was very it's upset that Mad Men... It's a little was, excitable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. was not, was not on, on at the top of everybody else's list. Uh, which, you know, anyway, I, I'm going to talk about it later. Uh, so my my honorable mentions. The hardest one for me to keep off was The Office. Uh, but you knew I was going to have it, so... Yeah, I, well, I did. 
but it's still uh, so say by the bell uh Outstanding. well i mean it doesn't age well wait, 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 wait. Is that you, going high school, that, you going through high school or college uh all of it <laughs> miss bliss even miss yeah bliss. miss bliss yeah, good bliss. morning miss bliss and 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 uh uh, uh, later, professor Lasky, ones? Professor the Lasky, and, the later and, and, screech ones, the later ones with screech. Yeah. Oh well, no, maybe not the not the new class, <laughs> not the new class. That's where I draw the line. Okay, I draw I the line, my friend. Uh, I understand. Yeah, but uh, you know, and, and Zach Morris is trash, sure, but you know, AC Slater was there. I love I love Zach Morris though. That's my guy. Yeah, I was I was Zach Morris. So keep going. <laughs> so, okay. so I, I got a lot of so, love for Zach Morris. So Atlanta, mm. Atlanta was was never was, finished it. I stopped in that third. Last year, season year is season. so incredible. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I believe uh, you. I believe you. <laughs> Better call Saul. I mean, that's your stuff. Fargo. That's your stuff. Fargo. Uh, I, I think the last, the most recent season with Chris Rock and them kind of was the, the, the onus to leave it off. That's but, your show, bro. That's your uh, show, though. Yeah. Curb your enthusiasm. I was waiting for it. I thought you were going to say Curb was the one for me. I thought that was what you were going to say for me. <laughs> like, Curb your, hey, Leon, and, and especially Leon. Leon, hey, Leon Black is, is... Praise God, though. He's he's had a whole career. Yeah. I mean, he was already a writer, but he's had a whole career in front of the screen. Yeah. Because of... In front of the camera, excuse me. Because of season six. Yes. Yes. Yeah, being Blacks. Season six, episode... <laughs> Episode two or three? Yeah, because he wasn't on the initial one. No. <laughs> Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> he, was in, he was in a hurricane. No, he, he stayed no. in LA. He's here he in stayed, LA. He stayed. He stayed in LA. Like, <laughs> he stayed in LA. <laughs> is the beginning? They could have just stayed with him. <laughs> is the beginning of an entire new world because yeah. before that, I I didn't know JB Smooth was. Yeah. And then Leon comes. Yeah. And then that in that episode, yeah, you have so much brilliance. Oh yeah, it's like it's my a gravy stain. It's a gravy what kind stain, stain. Is it so, from the syrup sand family? So from the syrup. It's from the syrup family. <laughs> He's like, maybe the gravy I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. <laughs> you know why? Because I get mine, Larry. It's mine, Larry. <laughs> I praise the ruckus, to the ladies. Hey, yeah. Um, so. Uh, it's not, uh, my, it's uh, not my club, Larry. Not my club. Uh, that premise of that whole story comes, come, comes, come. Was insane. <laughs> it was the insane. You can't Jeff have that kind of conversation during the high holidays. <laughs> and went. <laughs> I can't even breathe. I can't <laughs> breathe. I'm crying. Yeah, yeah. Curb oh, sorry, was curb. Curb. I haven't uh, watched all the curbs, so I, I can't. I couldn't even. I couldn't do that because I hadn't watched it all. The last season was 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 kind of uh, you know, but but it was still had some it had moments. It had it had some top ten episodes. I'm sure in, in that season. That's why uh, I heard. I heard. Yeah, Entourage was was hard to leave off. I and, and I have you and and Cash specifically to thank for that. So thank you. Uh, for, I, I think I left Entourage off because there's so many. There's just a lull. That's my favorite part. Vince and Coke. The penultimate season, really. Got on my nerves. Vince on Coke. Because that girl that he was yeah. dating. Oh, the, the Sasha, four star. Yeah. I never yeah. got it. I just, I didn't get it. So yeah. I didn't care. Yeah. But thank gosh. And, and thank gosh. Uh, Johnny's there. Turtle's there. Yeah. Eric's there. Scott Kahn. Yeah. You know, there's all these other, you know, Billy. There's all these other characters. And of course, of course, it's it's Piven's show. Yeah. Let's yeah. be, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, it's Piven's show. It's Piven's show. Sure. But I also love Vince on Coke. I hate Vince. <laughs> I, know. I know. I I, I, I hate Vince for the passion. I know. With an I know. But but the redemption of Vince was beautiful. It was beautiful, but it was also it was. like it was like he was kind of plastic too. Yeah, he was. He was. At the same time. But and my, my last honorable mention uh, is Hannibal, and okay. I, I want to go in for just a second on Hannibal because oh, yeah. uh, it is a wonderful retelling. People get very angry when things are not true to books or true to true to the the, the uh, original work but let me tell you something the way that they flipped Hannibal mm -hmm. and flipped the character Will Graham and and, and uh and uh uh the director uh man why am I blanking on his name but that Lawrence Fishburne is playing and mm -hmm. and and the way that that uh Mads Mikkelsen is playing Hannibal Lecter yeah. if you've never watched that show yeah. it is it is mind-blowing how awesome it was and especially for it to have been on network television uh fantastic and I, I can't get enough of it. 
Uh, I wish that they had, uh, it almost belongs into another category uh, that I have here. Uh, but I wanna jump to, to, the, to this other category that I have at the bottom called incomplete. Because mm. I have Veep, okay. I have Mad Men, I have Boardwalk Empire. All these are shows that you have suggested for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I have The Simpsons. It's just too much. The Simpsons. Yeah, you'll never watch. I mean, yeah, I, there's no I, way. I have Blackish because I've yeah. seen episodes of Blackish, but haven't yeah. seen the entire. I, I, that, that's a good point. That's a, okay. That's interesting. That's cool, dude. I, I get that. I, get I have that. Abbott Elementary and I have Queen Sugar. Okay. Abbott so, Elementary, I appreciate, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the other question I asked you, Joe, was some shows that are on track for greatness. Like your, so what are your what are your shows that are on track for greatness? Abbott Elementary is okay. Um, the the catch, see, the catch is how do you define greatness? Okay. So I look at it like a player that's on their way to the Hall of Fame, but. You know they they need to, to to seal the deal they need something like either a, another season that is complete or like you know a defining moment something like that to say hey this is going to the next level okay um well okay so uh, succession yes mm -hmm. um without question uh succession mm -hmm. is succession is going there i have not yet watched the second season of white lotus mm -hmm. uh but after the first season and the reaction I'm seeing on social media because of the second season, uh -huh. uh, I'm fairly certain White Lotus is going to get into that. Uh -huh. It's going to be probably be one of those middle of the pack all time great sure. HBO shows. You know those middle of the pack shows like uh, Oz and, 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 and of, of that of that milieu. Yeah, um, but milieu? but but I I think uh, sorry an aristocrat category, category, ooh, <laughs> an aristocrat uh, category there. But but uh, so yeah, uh, White Lotus and and Succession okay. most definitely. Okay. Um, I think I think that they can. Um, I think they can do another year, another uh, season or two of Only Murders in the Building. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I really do. I think they can get two more seasons out of it, and then okay, we're good uh, because it can't keep happening. Okay. Uh, in okay. fact, in fact, they didn't. You know, if you notice. It, the murder, the the way that the finale. I don't know if you finished it, um, and if you didn't, did. then, but go ahead, go ahead. Well, the last murder did not happen in the building, uh -huh. unlike unlike the previous two murders. In okay, the previous two okay. Seasons. So they have already kind of yeah, they, they, moved away from, they moved away from the building, right? <laughs> okay. uh, Say so we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do that anymore. Okay. Um, and then um, I'm not really watching enough television to really tell you what else is on track for for greatness. Okay. But I, I I I put it this way. Um, I mean, of those among the shows that I that I watch and enjoy, I think I think that's it. I, I don't okay. know. I don't know what. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's 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 about where I am with okay. that. I think I'll, I will say this. I think um, Southside is hilarious. Mm -hmm. I've seen. I've mm -hmm. obviously seen the first two episodes of season three. Uh -huh. uh, shout out to Reese. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Frosties. <laughs> <laughs> they're already going. I mean, they're already giving us a a, a thing from the jump. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna mention one other show that I forgot. It was on my honorable mention. I completely forgot about. It. Okay. But, um, but they're already giving us some good stuff from the jump. Okay. And I, I I'm really curious to see where this season goes. Yeah. I, I watched all 20 episodes when I had COVID uh -huh, in January. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And I and I watched only murders in the building. And when, I, when it I, hurt to laugh, you it, it hurt. hurt to, it was hurt. Yeah, it was hurting my first five days. I was in a lot of pain, but I watched. I binged like ten days. I binged all that, yeah. all forty uh, of those episodes. Well, it was ten early murders and twenty south sides at the time. Yeah. So I binged all thirty of those. Um. So I always think of them like as a set in my head. Sure. But but um, I think that they're they're on they're on par for something special. Particularly okay. this season, uh, to continue that you know their their wonderful run, yeah. and they're getting some good placements yeah. that they weren't necessarily getting before on the on late night and and some good advertising from HBO. HBO could do more, but but um, but I, th I think they're getting some some help yeah. in that in that regard. Sure. Uh, the the one I left off that I, I forgot to mention was Bored to Death, and huh. and um, I loved that show. Um, I think it it lost its way 
mm -hmm. near the end, mm -hmm. but it was such a beautiful look at New York. Mm -hmm. And I was going to New York a lot during that, during that run. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it, it was, it was hilarious and it was funny and it was, it was smart and, it, and, and, um, and and everything got wrapped up in twenty something minutes, and the, and the characters were lovable. Mm -hmm. Danson was shining in mm -hmm. that role as George Christopher Schwartzman's great, and of course Galifianakis. I mean, you can't be Galifianakis in that yeah. moment in his life. Yeah, he, he had a, was, he had a moment. That was <laughs> he. He was the tops of the. the I mean, he was the funniest man on the planet. Yeah, and but he played this one kind of demure, but still it was physical comedy too. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I left it off because there were a limited number of seasons. Fair um enough. and so that, that that was why but i did okay. complete it i did complete it so, okay so that the only the only things I, I i would even uh consider were shows i completed got you got you got you all right uh so you mentioned three of the ones i had on my list secession south side and uh white lotus so i won't relitigate those uh the other two i had were uh house of dragon mm -hmm. uh especially and, and and so i have one more category to go through after this but uh i don't want to step too much on that thunder but house of the dragon is very 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 uh promising so far yeah uh Agreed. you know Agreed. Uh, it, it has redeemed and just throw that on just throw that on yeah i mean house yeah. of dragon yeah, yeah. They, they they come up with it I'm not, yeah. I, yeah i i i trust well it's not ben Wolf and weiss anymore is it so no it's like, not those dudes well thank, i trust i trust this series i trust yeah. this, i trust you know yeah i trust uh it's george rr George it's, R. R. it's, it's gonna use yeah, his I, was gonna say, I trust Martin. martin i trust yeah. martin yeah, yeah. and then uh the other one i have is uh the boys on uh amazon prime okay okay uh yeah, I, I think if they if they can keep up the pace, uh, you know, it's it's doing something different, uh, taking the 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 superhero genre and 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 turning it on its ear. Uh, they're already getting duplications with uh that what's that DC show with John Cena, uh, who's wearing that weird helmet. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe. I, know, I know, but I know, but I can't think of the name. Of it. Yes, yeah, but I know, that, I know what you're show. talking about. That yes, trying to be the boys. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, the boys is, is on my list. So, so before we jump into uh, the music and the theme songs, because we definitely want to talk about that, uh, I, I had another category and I just want to know your thoughts on it. Okay. And yeah. this category is called What Could Have Been. What Could Have mm. Been. Okay. Uh, and these are shows that, for whatever reason, so the first show on that list is Lovecraft Country. Oh, yeah. And how desperately do we need another season of Lovecraft Country? I'm, we need it. I'm. Let's put Journey back on our television screens. Okay, I got no problem with Journey on the screens. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I, I want. I let's want, let's, let's I get Wumi back on. I want Wumi back on. Yeah, you know, I'd like to see that. I just don't know where the story goes. I think, I think they were they emotionally the they mined all of the emotion. Okay. Out of us. Okay. I mean, after after the the penultimate episode, sure, yeah, that was rough. That was that was. A, I, a, a I'm ride. sitting here like, wow, what yeah. you you are taken in a play, and we're all at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said yeah. Well, yeah. You Actually, and that one was the one. Shoot, eight eight was the one with the uh with the, the Topsy and Bopsy. Oh, man, I, I and think, Bopsy. and then and then nine. Is Tulsa, mm -hmm. brother? I, I don't know about you. I don't have that kind of emotional um, room to go through watching black people get, get killed. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know that's true. I well, that's why I ain't watching the Emancipation. I'm just putting that out there. I, I, I'll never. It, 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 it probably yeah, I'm, tired, I'm, tired sl I'm tired of slay movies. Yeah, but but um, I ain't never watching it. I mean, but Django's not really, you know, not really no, Django, movie. Django's a, no, it's a, right it's a yeah, 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 it's a retribution film. Yeah. But but we're kicking um, ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I I I I think it's it's different without tick. Yeah, that's fair. That's it's fair. different without that's tick. Fair. That's fair. And, that's and, fair. And, and and so I think things these things happen for a reason, but keep going. Yeah, that's keep fair. Going. That's fair. That's fair. Uh in that same vein, Watchmen. Okay, that was your show. I was never into it. <laughs> okay. I uh, have one. I have one for this list, though. But okay. Well, I have Ozark. Two for this list. Ozark. So, yes. for, for but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They had a run. So it, so they had. Ending of Ozark was so horrible to me. I've I never I I've watched like five episodes. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Okay. You'll I mean, so well, the ending of the ending of many of these shows is horrible. Yeah. They, so. Let me tell you, who had a great ending. Uh. Other so. Than, 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm told Breaking Bad was good. Breaking Bad, Bojack. I'm uh, told Mad Men was a nice little. The, nice the Sopranos little actually in high. Okay, side. okay, Sopranos. Boardwalk was stupid. Okay, okay. Better Call remember. Saul was fantastic. A Different it, World was stupid. Atlanta was a, was fantastic. Okay, all right. So maybe it's fifty fifty now. Okay. Maybe people are learning from these mistakes. But a lot of these shows, you know, who had a brilliant one was The Office. A yeah, lot of these yeah. shows don't know how to end. Yeah, yeah. You know. All right, Game of Thrones. They ruined it. Speaking of. <laughs> uh, Arrested Development, they ruined it. She just stayed off the air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm still, I'm still all up, up, up. I'm, a, I'm on the fence with Rick and Morty. I haven't even finished this current season. Uh, I used to love Rick and Morty. Uh, not so much. Stranger Things, hated the last season. Hated it. Hated it, Joe. I, I, I completely forgot. Stranger I'm in the Things. minority. I completely forgot it. I should, I would have put I would have put that on my honorable mention. I completely forgot it. My boss wants to disown me and probably fire me for saying. I it, love I love I loved it. I I'm I'm always in for Stranger Things. I'm always down for Stranger Things. Uh, partic- but season two, let's be honest. I mean, no, season four, season three, season three was at the mall. Yeah, season three. I, I didn't think they could ever. No, season something. two was at the mall. Season two was at the mall. It was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so they're just doing four now. Yeah. Okay. Season two, brother. Look, uh, that to me, the way I was all on board. That that was amazing to me. Yeah. Okay. It was was... absolutely positively amazing to me. Yeah. And just when I thought they couldn't do more, they would. They did more. And then, um, I love season three. Now I think it's we're getting to the place where it's got to end now because it's got to end now. Like, come on. Um, I would. I, I mean. Things that could have been, like, I, I think there's a show on HBO called Luck. Oh, it's season four that I hate. I like season three. Thank you. I, I was, I thought we'd been through four. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought we'd been through four seasons. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're, you're going right. on, they're doing you're five right. right now. You're right. You're um, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, there was a show on HBO called Luck that was about um, um, running a, a casino, a, 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 a horse, uh, a racehorse track or whatever. Um, Dustin mm-hmm. Hoffman. Uh-huh. And it was about the, the 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 gamblers and the people up top and all that kind of stuff, and then the and, and the, the actual horse people and all that, and how they are inter interconnected and all that. Um, I really I really dug that show. I thought that okay. show was I thought that show was strong. Okay. Um, but the horses died. There were horses that died in the making of it, and they sure. had a deal with the SPCA that if another horse died, they were going to shut off everything and, and they did it they did it another one that could have been great that wasn't uh it was uh the Chappelle show yeah um, yeah yeah absolutely uh the, I mean, and I, I'm not say it wasn't great I'm saying another one that could have been great I a greater yeah uh had they I, I think it was the Chappelle show actually yeah. it's an early it's an earlier submission on that yeah. also I would have loved to have seen a third season of um uh how to make it in America okay um I would have loved to have seen that a third, okay. season, a third season of that, um, and j- just just one more season. Like I, I just just to see the boys, just to see the boys do their entourage thing. Because a lot of people thought it was just like a a New York entourage with with uh, with no money. Uh, but <laughs> that's what I've read. Uh, but I would love to see the boys, you know, get another shot at things uh, when, when they're actually making their making their stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then um, I had another one in my head that, that should have that. that that um, was gone too soon. Uh, well, I, got, I, I got two more. I'll go ahead. Martin, the last two seasons of Martin don't exist for me. Well, they shouldn't have. They should just shut it off. But they got to make money. So yeah, yeah. But the first three seasons, yeah, we don't credible. We don't do that well. We don't know. know how to do that well. Yeah, I we like, like like we don't finish I, while we on top. I might turn some people off here, but I I never really like living single, and um. I, I mean, I liked it my the first season, maybe the first two seasons, mm-hmm. and then it just got a little crazy to me, silly. To me. <laughs> it was it was, a, it was just a little too uh, sitcommy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little yeah. too sitcommy for me. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. But but I just thought of another uh, honorable mention that I left off was Parks and Rec. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. How can we forget Parks and Rec? Yeah, I I, I left off Parks and Parks yeah. and Rec. Yeah. But which, which you know is the is the child is the is the first the spiritual born, successor of the, the, first, yeah, the first born of the office. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it literally yeah. is um, without 
uh, you know, uh, well, it's 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 the it's the first born in the office. Yeah, and, no, and because of we have we have Chris Pratt now. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that's we do. Yeah, thanks. And, thanks. and Aubrey thanks Plaza and Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, uh, White Lotus. Yeah, so yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And then my last one is True Blood. No, I think they got crazy at the end. It got too crazy at the end. It was like, what? What is going on, guys? What, what? is going on? What is going on with these fairies and and these? You know, like, no, I'm good. I'm good. So I, you asked me another question before, and maybe you just asked it before we were saying what's going to be great. In other words, are those the five that you're watching? Yeah, those now? are the five that were on deck. That okay, were, I forgot right. to I forgot to mention. Uh, so I said Succession, Southside, Only Murders, uh, but I forgot to mention the old man. And ah, I hope, yeah, yeah. And I I, I pray. The old man has a second season. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a good show. But I think it's only six. I think it's only six episodes. By the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, six episodes of amazing, and uh, yeah, and jam packed brilliance in that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. you know, uh, 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 what's his face got got had a heart attack. Who Jeff? Uh, Jeff Bridges. Yeah, but he like was that. sick before that. Yeah. Sure. 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 And then and then he wouldn't get a physical. You know. Then he wouldn't get all that stuff, that stuff like after that. Yeah, yeah. I think I thought he was sick before, and he still made and he was still went still made the made made it after that. I'm sorry, but keep. Oh, he, was, going he, he had cancer. He had lymph bone. Yeah, yeah, cancer. Yeah, cancer. Yeah, please keep going with your categories, unless you. Oh no, that's that 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 was that was it for the categories, man. Um, and so, uh, oh, things music, up. music, things yeah, yeah. Things um, Jeffersons. Uh, okay. <laughs> we is it good times <laughs> uh all in the family uh-huh norman you know, lear. You, you, hey all that norman yeah. lear um mr. mr belvedere okay um anything that tells a story about uh, uh, uh full house uh-huh uh anything that tells a story about um uh, moonlighting anything yeah. that tells a story about the show yeah uh, to me uh silver spoon we were singing silver spoons earlier we were or, singing or, silver spoons earlier yeah um and then, well, Miami Vice, of course. Yeah. Uh, yes. You know, how can you? No I, lyrics I, in that, but I will then, drive down the street now and listen to uh, uh to Crockett's theme. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Beverly Hills Nine Hundred Two and Uh huh. Uh, a different world. Uh huh. Um, The Office. Uh huh. You know, you haven't mentioned my three favorites yet. Okay. I mean, there's a lot. Well, Mad Men. Uh -huh. uh, was was beautiful and, and, was. and just a great time in 2007. Um, the Wire because uh -huh. of the brilliance of doing it in in so many different formats of the same yep. the same song. Yep. Um, and that's it for now. Go ahead. Season three of The Wire is still my favorite with the uh, the Devil Brothers. Got it. Uh, okay, so uh, I like I like to, I like a throw you out to the garden. Yeah, I, well, I like, yeah. That's the, you know that's the original one. Yeah, I know. It's just something so dirty and grimy yeah. about it. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so, uh, in, in, I guess in, in descending order, uh, Melrose Place, even though it's, 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 yeah. it's wordless, it's incredible. Yeah, Especially like, like how like it starts off, starts off so slow. And then all of a sudden you're in there and like it's, it's jamming. Yeah. Uh, so that Melrose Place, uh, then, uh, um, actually there are three of them, three, three more. Uh, Valerie's family, which a lot of people don't remember. Valerie slash Valerie's I, I'm, family I'm slash the Hogan I'm, family. Then they put the uh, yeah, they put the it's blind. Roberta Black. Oh, I forgot. Ooh, I forgot one. I, I, every family. I forgot one. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. If you okay. Can do that. Okay. Go okay. So then, growing pains. Great one. I love it. I Wait, love. Who was growing pains? Was this? It was, was B.J. Thomas and uh and Dusty Springfield one year, but most of the time it was B.J. Thomas and uh. Jennifer what was Warren. the song though? It was uh it was uh. Uh, 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 with going through the years, through uh, oh, man, I look at it. I look at it. I look at it. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. it's 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 ah man. I went through. It. I listened to it like eighteen times in a row the other night, man. Like it was uh, I gotta dig, check this out. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gr so growing pace, and then finally, uh, my 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 all time favorite is uh, Family Ties. That's what I was gonna say. That's what Denise I was gonna Williams, say. Johnny Mathis. Yes. What would we do? No, 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 no. <laughs> Without us, what do we do? do? <laughs> and there ain't no nothing. Nothing. We can't pull each other through. <laughs> what we do, baby? Sha la la la. Hey, incredible. Yes. So that's incredible. that was the one I was just gonna say. I, I left yeah. out. 
Yeah. Um, okay. Charles in Charge. Ah, Charles in Charge is a great one. Of yeah. our and days our, and our nights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah of yeah, our yeah. rights and our wrongs. You know. Yeah. 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 He's uh, there's two iterations of Charles in Charge. Like there's the there's the um, <laughs> there's the actual the uh, the uh, the network version, and there's a syndicated version of Charles in Charge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, and they, yeah, they definitely, they definitely were totally different, totally different things. Yes, yeah, completely different, completely different shows. Yeah, they were, they were, um, because there were no parents in the syndicated version. No, it was just, just Buddy and Charles. Yeah, the Buddy was <laughs> dumb in the syndicated version. I don't think he was dumb in the, in the uh, I don't think he was slow. No, in they, the, um, in the, in the network version. Yeah, but, but Buddy was my man from Eight Is Enough, which was a great one. Benson, oh, yeah. Benson. Had a uh, had a great song. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And they would bring I found groin pains, by the way. What is it? As long as we got each other, uh, we got the world in it right. Our hands, baby, you and I. And we gotta be <laughs> the luckiest dreamers who ever did. Yeah, yeah, yes. All in the laughter of love. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, you gotta have that one that has the little flourish at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna add a couple more of this. Yeah, uh, add a couple Golden more. Golden Girls, because how can yes. you live oh, yeah. in life without Golden oh, yeah. Girls? Yeah. Uh and of course, there's not a year that goes by that I don't repost my brother do the brother doing the uh, version of Golden Girls, the uh the, the gospel version of, of um Thank You for Being a Friend. Yes, yes. Uh where he pulls his wig off at the end, just absolute <laughs> brilliance. <laughs> Uh, but the beauty sure. of the, to me, the beauty of Golden Girls was that samba mix that they used to have coming in. And then yeah. they would show the house, which was really in like LA. Yeah. Um, uh, also, the Cosby Show. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not the first season, but I liked the second season and, and then and, um, and third. And then the one where he's if, looking back and forth. Like. Yeah. And then any of the. <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then any of the. Um, <laughs> Which is right, right when it started, like when she had the when Tempest was like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No uh, but also their jazz when they came back. In. Yeah, they showed yeah. Tim Stickwood. Um, that was always that was always great uh, yeah. as well. Um, I did say different world. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Curb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frolic. Curb, curb, it's frolic <laughs> is a phenomenon. Frolic is a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. It, it, something ends, something goes awry, and you just boom, yeah, bum, 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 bum. yeah, yeah. Brilliant, fantastic, fantastic, Brilliant. fantastic. It's so much, so much memory associated with these theme songs, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I totally agree. And Sopranos, man. Like yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, I mean, come on, yeah. Entourage, same thing. Uh, superstar. Yeah, yeah. The, but but. But the outro songs. If talk you're gonna about say it. Let's talk I, about the outro songs because in the eighties, Doug. That Doug was a thing. I, I want to say Doug Ellen. I'm gonna talk about Entourage real quick. Okay. Gotta give them their love and props for this. The Entourage outro songs broke many songs. Just they broke the songs, you know, yeah. to to the world. Yeah. The Entourage outros were a very big deal. Yeah. Kanye had. Hey. I, when, let me tell you something. I will never forget because it was still a day of LimeWire. Mm -hmm. Still LimeWire <laughs> and all the viruses that came with it, all of it. But <laughs> LimeWire was still huge when Good Life, because that's oh. summer. That's summer '07. Yeah, yeah. And they get on that plane to go to Con mm -hmm. and or Can, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and um, that's fine. <laughs> he plays Good Life. Uh huh. And I remember going to LimeWire to download uh -huh. Good Life, and there's a million of us. Downloading yeah. it, yeah. When because he of loses, entourage. because of entourage, when he loses his job, when when he loses his, he gets fired from the Terrence McEwick agency. When um, Ari gets fired, and the last song is "For Once in My Life." I oh, went yeah. to LimeWire to download "For Once in My Life." There's a million of us, yeah, downloading. That was a fantastic moment. For once in my life, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, I just want to say, look, look. Yep. I don't think I don't think people really understood how how powerful you know the music was at that point. Yep. Uh, I'm fairly certain that um, and I didn't do it that because I didn't watch it in, in live. Mm -hmm. But when Shy Light's old uh, old girl, oh yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. He, when he beat Zelman, Zelman, yeah, I, I'm I'm almost I'm on the, the, yeah. the distinct impression 
yeah. that that was also being downloaded downloaded as well because yeah. of the Sopranos. And yeah. so, you know, those shows had those shows had a lot of pull, man, with that music. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And you know who was great at it was brilliant at it was New York on the cover, man. Oh, they, they would thank bring you in, for mentioning. Yes, yeah, they yes. would bring it. They would bring yeah. in, you know, they would bring in the hottest. Right? Fox. Yeah. 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 Fox. Fox was the tastemaker. Fox. Fox. Hey, that Fox episode on. Okay. where uh, Danny, uh, what was his name, man? Uh, when Ice, Cube, Ice T killed an yeah. uh, old boy's girl and uh, the, and Montel Jordan singing What You Won't Do For Love. <laughs> oh, so great. <laughs> so great, man. Yeah, they, um, yeah, New York Undercover was very New York Undercover could have fit into my uh, what could have been. Like, the first yeah. two seasons of New York Undercover, yeah. incredible. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And, and then they ruined it. But, yeah. yeah. Such yeah, man. Life. Hey, look, we're back, man. Like Mortimer and uh, <laughs> and Randolph Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Mortimer, we're back. <laughs> uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we you know the Open Tabs podcast is back. You can catch us on all the usual haunts. Every uh, single one of them. Every single one of them. A- Anchor, Apple, Spotify. Uh, we're gonna put a YouTube feed up. Uh, however you want us, that's how you get us. And uh, yeah, so uh, maybe we can do draft day. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can <laughs> next, next, uh, draft day next week. That works. That works for me. Yeah, we can before the before the NFL season's over. Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully both of us will have survive. Yeah, we'll be. We'll be hopefully both Joe and, of us and I are in opposite there. sides of the bracket, so theoretically, yeah, so theoretically we, we, could, we could meet see each other in the, in the championship. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but I got to get through Bryson. You got to get through Shola. And all right, well, first I got to get through uh, through Marcus, who has beaten me twice this year already so yeah i think spinny has gotten me once uh already this year as well so we'll yeah, see so let's not let's not put the the cart yeah. before the horse but yes, uh, let's not do that that's how it goes <laughs> so uh good luck go to mark man marcus has my number this year man we, we that's all right he hasn't played, played you this week though and hey hey look uh hopefully josh allen is is gonna be back in form i don't know you know if he, if he does i hope he throws isaiah mckinsey I mean, and, not say yes, say and, not, yes, and not digs. Say that. And not digs. What does Marcus have digs? He has digs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Man. Exactly. You know, Marcus, this is the first of, uh, of, of many matchups between me and Marcus here in the near future. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. You know, yeah, so. yeah, y'all, y'all have an interesting uh, fortnight ahead. Of hey, man, you know, luckily Mark, Marcus, Marcus is a good dude, man. So, I, you know, I'm not going yes, to uh, besmirch him or, or his squad, but it's yeah. all right. It's, yeah. we, we, we don't mind on the show. Yeah. But that's fine. <laughs> but anyway, brother, hey, I appreciate it. Oh, Have man. A blast. I appreciate you. Hey, at, at last. At last. Hey, yes. we're back. So uh until next time, guys, catch us on the Open Tabs Podcast. Love us on uh social media. Please uh spread the word. Tell a tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank and, you so much uh, for listening. We'll catch you next time. Catch you the next time. Bye.